GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. Dogs, dogs, dogs. If you're not a dog lover, after watching one video on our channel, you're going to turn out to be a massive dog lover. My name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger, and you're welcome to GH Dog TV, your number one dog TV for all dog lovers. If you're new on our channel, I'll kindly urge you to subscribe to our channel and then you hit on our notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content. You can also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at gh dog blogger now dog lovers today i'm visiting a kennel i've been to before this is a kennel i visited in 2019 this is actually the third kennel we visited on gh dog tv and i'm right here to have a chit chat and check out some of the new dogs at this kennel but in the meantime i'm having fun with some of the dogs right here and i'm sure you're loving it right here hey come on hey come on come on come here dog lovers check out these beautiful dogs right here i'm actually having fun if you're a dog lover i'm sure you wish you were me right now check out these beautiful dogs now without wasting much of your time let's go for a quick break we'll be back shortly my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger don't go anywhere My name is Maxolo Subwatin, aka Max Billion of K9 Extra Mile Kumasi, Ghana, and this is GA Dog TV. Keep watching. Thank you. Welcome back from that quick break. Today, the current location is Angomaso in the Ashanti region of Ghana, and this is a kennel I visited before. This is actually the third kennel I visited on GH Dog TV, and I'm back here again. And trust me, you're going to love the new dogs and everything right here so i have the boss of twin pillar kennel the name of this kennel is twin pillar kennel i have the boss of twin pillar kennel right here mr sylvester Enchi. welcome once again to the show thank you very much it's, it's always a pleasure to have you thank you very much too thank you very much I know we've we've met in uh, we've met at a lot of dog shows and all of that but i think the last time I was here was in December 2019. Yeah, I think so. About uh, three years ago, yeah. Three years ago, yeah. Getting to four years, I think so, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and coming here, I remember the likes of, um, let me see if I can remember some of the names. Razuka, Impi, Uchka, Grace, and all of that. And trust me, that, 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 when I came here, I was very, very happy looking at the quality of dogs you had and all. Oh, yeah. yeah we still have Impi. In the kennel, we still have MP. Unfortunately, Uchka is dead. Um, we used to have uh, Rocky. Rocky is now in Nigeria. Uh, we have new stocks too. We, we have we have we have stopped breeding the uh, Bordeaux now. Now we are concentrating on the Bull Mastiffs and the Boa Bulls for now. So we have a lot of addition to our kennel. We have also a, a small number of uh, bull mastiffs that, sorry, boa bulls that we have added to our kennel too. So we have a quite number of stocks that we have added to our kennel. Yeah. Okay, nice, 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 nice dog lovers. You hear that he says there are new stocks right here, new dogs right here. We'll get to why you 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 decided to focus on the bull mastiffs and boa bulls. But then let, let's start from how, how have things been since the last time I visited Twin Pillar? I think I visited your pet shop too as well. Yeah, so how, how have things been in general? Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, you know, in breeding, uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. But we have been managing things to, 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 to keep the kennel going. Uh, we decided to concentrate on only the bull mastiffs and the boa bulls. 
just to have enough attention for those two breeds. You know, it's not easy keeping more than two breeds in the kennel. Each breed has its own way of keeping them. So keeping more than two or three breeds in the kennel makes the work very difficult. So we, we have decided to concentrate, concentrate on only the bull mastiffs and the bubbles for now. Maybe in future we might consider uh, uh, another breeze in addition. Yeah. Nice one, dog lovers. I'm right here at Twin Pillar Kennel, a kennel that focuses on breeding bull mastiffs and boa bulls. Now, in case you, you, you've not watched our first episode here, come on, go to the video, the, the link in the video description. Go hit it up. Our first visit to Twin Pillar Kennels, and trust me, you're going to love it and all of that. Okay, so, boss man. Let's get to um, some of the challenges of breeding these dogs. I'll, I'll like you to really hit up on it. I noticed that most of the viewers, there are some people who are upcoming breeders and all of that, and they find some of this information very useful. Can you throw more highlights on, before we check out the dogs, and all, can we throw more light on some of the challenges of dog breeding and all? Um, dog breeding as a whole, in Ghana here, yeah, I'll say it's not, a, it's not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing to do at all. Um, considering uh, taking care of the dogs is not an easy thing to do. When it comes to feeding, the veterinary services that you have to incur, uh, the cost of labor, that is the hiring someone to help you to, uh, help you in taking care of the dogs, these things are not easy. Right now, averagely, the cost of a dog feed is around uh, 350 Ghana cities. 350 Ghana cities, and if you have a number of dogs in your kennel, you can spend about three to four bags in a week. So multi multiplying three bags by 350 Ghana cities, averagely, is not an easy thing. And the cost of veterinary services to in Ghana here, yeah, I'll say, is a little bit higher as compared to other areas. So considering these three factors, it's not easy. It's not easy in breeding dogs. Yeah, not easy at all. Wow, wow, dog lovers. You just heard it from the boss man right here, Mr. Sylvester Enchi of Twin Pillar Kennel. Now, boss man, so how, how many dogs in general do you have currently in this kennel? Or you've, you've lost count? <laughs> um, for now, I can say there are about 15 dogs. 15, one, five, 15 dogs in the kennel now. Uh, I have some puppies there, but they are they are not included in the 15 dogs that I'm seeing. I have some puppies, some are about three weeks, four weeks old. Uh, they are not part of the 15 dogs. So currently, the adult dogs are 15. Yeah, in the kennel for now. Yeah. So how is their feeling like? I've seen people in the comment section always asking about feeding and all how, how is the feeding like for these dogs how many times do you feed them and all of that i feed them twice in a day twice in a day and there are some dogs specifically you might have to feed them three or four times a day depending on what you want to achieve for instance if a dog is pregnant uh, you should manage how you feed the dog at times you have to give them small quantity of food for maybe three times in a day so it depends on on, on on the particular dog some are fed so you can feed some on three times a day some twice a day and at times to considering maybe a, a particular dog maybe you want to reduce the weight of the dog you can feed the dog once a day depending on what you want to achieve on a particular dog that depends on the number of uh, food you have to give to the dog in a day yeah feed them with kibbles and what again yeah, i feed only kibbles only kibbles dry dry foods only kibbles i don't feed anything only kibbles yeah okay. nice 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 that's beautiful i know most of the time i get comments coming from people you'll be there and somebody will send you a dog and you'll go like this is my boa boo i want i've been feeding my boa boo a lot of food but it cannot grow to become like this breeder's boa boo Ca can you tell my 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 viewers something about that because they are always complaining is it that i personally tell them that it's probably because maybe they did not pick they didn't get a dog with the right genes or something of that sort maybe they bought something 
which was perceived to be a boabo. I like you to also throw more light on that for my viewers. They go, they always send it. They they will send up a dog. This is my boabo. I've been feeding it all the time, but they don't grow to become like this. You know, our advice, our, our advice, uh, people to always be very careful when buying dogs. You know, there's a saying that jeans jeans don't lie. Uh, some people might sell you a particular puppy. That's this is the puppy. These are the parents of this puppy. But they might not be telling you the truth. And you know, when the genes of a particular dog is very great, no matter how it is, that's how the, the, their puppies are going to look like. If the genes of a particular dogs are very great, or the line is very great, that's how the, uh, the puppies are also going to be. So, at times when you are buying your puppy from somebody, you have to know you are buying a puppy from a, a, a branded kennel. So that you know that, oh, this kennel, their dogs are very good, their jeans are very good, their, their lines are also very good. So when I get puppies from there, definitely I'm also going to get a, 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 a quality dog, a quality puppy from that kennel. At times, people buy dog puppies from from uh, people buy puppies from the roadside and thinking that that puppy will go up to become a very big dog, but you don't know the parents. So buying a puppy, you have to do investigation. You have to see the parents before buying those puppies, because someone might sell your puppy thinking that it's from this particular parents, but might not be from uh, that particular parents. Secondly, the feeding is also very important. When feeding a puppy, you have to feed a puppy with high protein, high protein, because getting the high protein for the dog will make the dog looks nicer. It builds the muscles of the puppy too. When you are feeding a puppy and the protein is not high, it, it you wouldn't get the results that you might want it. So it's not only 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 feeding with protein, uh, high protein uh, feed too. You have to also add some uh, little bit of vitamins, calcium to it. You know, calcium works on the bones. It it, it develops the bones, develops the head. It it keeps the uh, the, the legs, the paws straight make the dogs look nicer so you, you can't just be feeding on the kibbles only you have to add uh, vitamins and calcium to the feed that you feed your dogs so that they, they will also become nicer as you want it as you want them to be yeah dog lovers you heard it from the boss man he says trust the genes he's giving out a lot of tips right here and dog lovers today we are going to keep it short we have to check out the dogs and all of that. Today, we are not going to make it a very lengthy conversation. I've seen some trophies right here. But then before we, we, we get to the trophies, um, has there been any imports since the last time I visited the yeah. kennel? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I imported hawk from Hungary. Uh, hawk is here. Uh, Maestro 2 is here. Uh, and I also bought some, some from my colleague friends in Ghana here. Uh, Empire, Empire, Empire Dos GH. Yeah, he's, he's also from Ghana here. Uh, I have uh, some females also too from Serbia. I imported them from Serbia. Uh, I have some new editions. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm loving the scenes right here. Now, Bossman, I know somebody would love to know how the whole importation process goes like. I've had a couple of people who have been asking me to ask the breeders how the importation process is like when they hear the import they do not really understand they be like how 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 do you import dogs how is it like can you give us a, a brief something about the whole importation process and all importing dogs uh, is not an easy thing first of all you have to uh, normally from for, for me for instance i import them from europe when i know most of the breeders in europe so when they get puppies, they are my friends on Facebook and uh, when they get puppies, when they post them, I get to know they have puppies. So I chat, I chat them, then when I'm interested in a puppy, we agree on a certain fee, then agreeing agree on the fee, then from there, uh, you have to make a, a, an official transfer of money to them through the bank. When you send the money to them, 
you know, I know most of them. And if I don't know a particular breeder, definitely I'm going to know a breeder that I know in that particular country. So I'll let that breeder make inquiries about the one that I am, I am buying from to check for me is that breeder is a genuine person. So definitely if I'm going to get a confirmation from the, the breeder that I know in Europe that oh maybe this breeder is a genuine person you can deal with him, then I'll start processing buying the dog from that breeder. So first of all, I will, I will do the official tran uh, transfer of money to the breeder in Europe. Then from there, we will arrange for transporting the uh, the puppy or the dog from the Europe. So the breeder there will have to make uh, inquiries. We have transporters. We have transporters in Europe who transport dogs to to the worldwide. So uh, they will they will make inquiries and tell you that uh, maybe I will charge you this, I will charge you that. Then from there, the builder will also communicate to you that this is what the transporter is charging. And if you are okay with it, then you make the necessary arrangements to transport the dog into the country. When it comes, when you are about to transport the dog into your country, the transporter there in Europe will have to send you the way bill of the, of the dog. So you use that way bill and the official documents to prepare your you have to get an agent here in ghana here so that the agent will use that the particulars of the way bill and the other stuff the age of the dog if the dog has been vaccinated if the dog is free from any disease any diseases you have to get all those documents you give it to your agents and your agents will clear the dog from the pot for you you have to pay a duty to at the port then from there i think then you are done so first of all you have to contact the breeder that you want to buy the dog from from there if you're okay with the, with the, with the, with the price you send your money through bank when the the, the, the breeder receives the money he, the breeder will inform you then you start working on transporting the dog when the charge of the transport comes and you're okay with it you send the money to the breeder again. The breeder will give the money to the transporter who will be transporting the dog. The transporter will have to give you the information of the dog. That's the health information, the vaccination records and other things. Then you use the, that records to give to your agent here to clear the dog for you. You do, you pay your duty and that's it. It's a simple means, but if you are not careful with it, somebody might dupe you. So we are, I'm advising my other colleagues to be very, or to be extra careful when dealing with such people, yeah. So if I'm getting a word to, there are also cases of um, fraud and all of that, if you, you do not really do your investigations well. Oh yes, yes. I personally have not experienced that before, but I've been experiencing that from my other colleagues. And, and, and at times, if you're not careful, they, they might dupe you. So you have, that's why for me, I was if for instance if I'm transporting from Germany, I'll make sure I will talk to a breeder that I know for some years to make inquiries for me that I'm a buying I'm buying a particular dog from this particular breeder from your country. Please confirm for me if you know him or if he's an of he's a, he's a genuine person. So unless I get a confirmation from that breeder that I know in Germany. I wouldn't uh, continue uh, doing the process. I wouldn't do that. Nice, nice dog lovers. You heard it from the boss man. He's giving some tips right there. It's a whole process. I'm sure you picked something from it. Now, boss man, before we get to the new dogs and all, let's talk, let's talk about, I've seen some trophies. Uh, I think the last time I was here, I didn't see any of these trophies. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited seeing all of them. I'd like you to tell my dog lovers about these trophies right here uh yes uh these are trophies that the kennel has won for the past two years or so uh, last year we won we won some awards this year too we have also won some awards and uh, we have we, are, we now have about six trophies that we've won uh, kennel you know of ghana organized some dog shows and we invited we invited some uh, judges, all big judges from 
last year, I think it was uh, one one judge was from Russia. Uh, Katarina was from Russia. She came to judge in our show. Then uh, Richard Packett also came from Canada last year to also judge. Uh, this year we've had a uh, Fletcher Tempest also from Canada. She she also came to judge in our show. They are all all big judges, and it was such a nice occasion, and we were able to uh, get six trophies out of these two shows that we represented. And we are very much give, grateful to our fans, our supporters, for their prayers, for their support and everything. We thank everybody. We thank everybody, yeah. Nice. Well, can, we, can we check out some of the, um, the trophies and the categories you won? Uh, this is uh, this is the best in show. Uh, uh, one of our dogs uh, is called uh, Giovanni. Giovanni, Eza Legacipi. I imported from uh, Hungary. Eza Legacipi, Giovanni, and A.K.A. Hawk won the best in show. When you say the best in show, that means he won the overall uh, overall best in the show. The overall best in the show. About 40 to 50 dogs that represented, he was the best in the show. Uh, so the best in the show was from our kennel. Yeah. And uh, last year too, we also won the best in group. Uh, best in group. When you say the best in group, it means the group that uh, our dog belong. Well, you know, the best in group was the group of Bu Mastiff, Wattwala, Caucasian Shepherd, and other stuff. They are all. They, they were all. They, they were all in the group. But out out of that group, the Bu Mastiff won, and the Bu Mastiff that won was a uh, hawk a uh, hawk and so he was the best in the group too we also won uh, the the best of breed bull mastiff all the bull mastiff that represented in that show the bull mastiff the best of the bull mastiff was from our kennel twin pillar kennel so we also won the best of bull mastiff from our kennel we also got a medal that's the bull mastiff junior class first Mastiff Junior class from the medal. We also won that this year too. We also won the best of breed Boom Mastiff. Yes, we won the best of breed Boom Mastiff this year. We won the best of breed Boom Mastiff. And we also won the best in group. The best in group, as I said earlier, is the group of Boom Mastiff, Wat Wallace, Caucasian Shepherd, uh, and others. We also won the best in group. From the Twin Black and uh, we also won it. And we also won uh, the best in show, in, uh, the best uh, junior dog in the show. We also won it. Uh, one of our dogs from our kennels, that's Twin Pillar Israel. Twin Pillar Israel is actually uh, a son of Hawk, a son of, uh, yes, because his, his father won last year and his son too has also won at the, at the junior level. So his son, uh, Twin Pillar Israel has also won a, a junior award so he, he was the best uh, the best uh, the best dog uh, in the show as compared to the best dog in junior the best junior dog and the best junior dog in, in the show so Jim Pillai Israel won it we also got some certificates uh, last year and this year we won and this Jim Pillai Israel uh, he won. He was the junior best in the show. Twin Pillar is right. He, he was the junior best in the show. Just in the show that we organized. And we have Ezra Legacipi. That's Hawk. Ezra Legacipi Giovanni. He was the best. The best in group. He was the best in group. Last year, the show that we organized. And the best of show. The best of the show. It's also the same as the leadership Giovanni it was the best in show. And we also have the same as the, as the leadership Giovanni. He was also the the best in the open class of the show. The best in the open class of the show. And we have uh, one of our dogs, Major. Uh, he, he was the best in junior in the last year's show. Major was the best in junior in the last year's show. We have another dog, Shivas. 
he was also he was fourth he was fourth in the open class uh, of the last year show and we have Jam, Jamin Bo Maestro Jamin Bo Maestro was second in the last year show that we also organized so we've won many certificates many trophies and many medals from our kennel Dream Pillar kennel and we are much grateful to everybody all our fans all our supporters we are much grateful to everybody and we are very excited too yeah nice one congratulations to the boss of twin pillar kennel he has really won big at last year's dog show and this year's dog show too in case you want to link up with twin pillar kennel and pet shop in case you did not know he owns a pet shop too so in case you want to link up with him the contact details are on our screen give him a call whatsapp him just link up with the boss man now boss man we are getting to my favorite part where we check out the dogs right here i'd like you to talk about dog shows seeing these trophies and all somebody will go like ah, what dog show what is dog show what are these trophies for can you throw more light on the relevance of dog show and all uh, dog shows are shows that are given to everybody every lover of dog or every breeder or every pet owner it's a platform that has that, that is given to every lover of dog to come and showcase your dog you know we normally uh, organize these shows so that dog lovers can bring their dog to showcase to the world what they have and 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 normally we have judges that come from the western world as from the europe to come to come and assess the dogs to come and give awards to the dogs to come and give advice to the dogs to also to come and educate us as to what to do so it is very good to be part of every dog show that is being organized in your country because we don't only go there to get awards but we also go there to get to 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 get education from the judges i've learned so much from the judges i've have had an opportunity to uh, learn from about four judges within about two years and all the advices that they, they've been giving are very has, has been very helpful to my kennel and 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 I, I will advise every dog lover to participate in every dog show that happens in their country yeah and to be uh, also you can also uh, it is possible for you to also join a, a, a big club as i'm talking right now I'm a member of a Boom Mastiff Club. You can see from my T-shirt. Uh, this is a Boom Mastiff Club T-shirt that I'm, I'm, I'm wearing, and and I'm also the the president of the Boom Mastiff Club. Uh, to be to become a Boom Mastiff Club member is not something that is difficult. You can contact me to become a member if if and only you are in Ghana here. And if you're a member of the club, there are so many advantages of becoming a member and so many things that you can enjoy or you can get from becoming a member. So I would advise everybody, if you are a dog lover, if, if, if you're a pet owner, you can contact me. I can link you to become a member of a, a breed club so that you can also benefit from the education that we've been getting from our other colleagues. Yeah. The boss man has talked a lot. He has talked about the dog shows. He has talked about the dogs and everything. Now is where we get to my favorite part where we check out the dogs. But then before we, we, we go there, I'd like you to say your final words to my dog lovers who are watching us. In our, in our first episode where we came here, I, I think it's actually the third kennel I visited. Trust me, people love the kennel and the dogs right here from around the world. I'd like you to say a message to all of these people. Uh... I want to say to my fans and my supporters that uh, it's a nice, it's a nice business to do. You no know, dogs, they are dogs, they are animals do, but uh, at times they also become part of the family. Going at the least, when we used to breed dogs or, or when we used to have dogs for hunting purposes, but now they are also part of the family. It's a nice, it's a nice means of getting dogs around you and your family. And, and, and I must tell you, you can start something. You can st start something small. You know, it's not been easy for us to come into this far about having about 15 dogs. It's not easy, but 
you can also start if if and only want to get into breeding you can also start from somewhere start is more then gradually you progress to whatever that you you want to achieve uh, we thank all our fans all our supporters for supporting us and we continue to do better things for them don't uh, hesitate to call us or to contact us on our various social media handles if you want puppies if you want any advice if you want any mating services we are we are here to serve you and to serve you better thank you very much Okay, so we are at my favorite part where we check out the dogs and this is the first dog we are showing at Twin Pillar Kennel. Wow. Okay, Bossman, can you can you tell us something about this fine dog? I don't think he, uh, he was here the last time I came here in 2019. No, he wasn't here. Uh, I imported him around uh, 2020. Yeah, he's called uh, Ezra Legashipi. That's the pedigree name, Ezra Legashipi Giovanni. And the real name is Giovanni, and the kennel that uh, I bought the dog from is Ezra Ligashipi. He's from Hungary, and and he's also called Hawk or Hawk. He's won many awards. In fact, last year, last year he won the best in show. He, he won the best in show. Yeah, the overall best in show dog in Kumasi organized. Hawk won it. Yeah, he also won the best in group. He won the best in group last year. Yeah, the best in group group last year. And he also won the best in breed. That's the Blue Mastiff breed. Last year he won. Last year he won three trophies. He won three trophies. He's a very nice dog. Very nice Blue Mastiff dogs. And you love his puppies. His puppies too are very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Dog lovers, check out Hawk right there. The famous hawk, the boom mastiff, and he's available for stud, right? Yes, he's av available for stud and mating services. Yeah. Man, what about our lovely friend here too? Uh, this is uh, Twin Pillar Shivers. Twin Pillar Shivers. Uh, actually, he is bred from our own kennel. Yeah, he is bred from our own kennel. He's called Twin Pillar Shivers. That's why we have our name on him, Twin Pillar, added to his name. He's from our own kennel. He's called Twin Pillar Shivers. He's such a very nice dog. He has a very good temperament too. Yeah. A very sweet dog, born and bred in Ghana. Born and bred in Ghana in Chimpila Kenno. Yeah. How old is he? Uh, she was around three and a half years. Yeah. Was he among the puppies I came to see on my first visit here? Yes. He was uh, around four to five months then when, when we came. Yeah. Yeah. He's also available for stud service. Yes, he's, he's also available. Yeah. Lovers, check out Twin Pillar Shivers right here. Oh, I love this boy. Wow, just check him out. Actually, he was he was he was uh, fourth. Uh, he, he was fourth uh, at the show that we had last year. Yeah, he was fourth. Our dog was first, and our dog was third, and he was fourth. Yeah. Okay. So and that's Twin Pillar Shivas right there. Very beautiful boy at Twin Pillar Kennels. Mm. Boss, that's a big boy here. Very big boy. Very big boy. Very big boy. He's called Jamin Boom Maestro. I bought it from a friend in Nigeria. Uh, it's called Chinedu. His kennel name is Jamin Boo. Uh, and it's called Jamin. That's why he's called Jamin Boo Maestro. So I imported him from Nigeria. Yes, from a friend from Nigeria. 
Yeah. Wow, dog lovers, check out this dog right here. Such a big head. Woo! He's also available for stud. Yeah, he's available for stud. And he won the last year's show. He was second in the junior class. Uh, last year, he was around nine months old. So he, he, he competed for the junior class and he was second. Yeah. So how, how old is he now? Uh, he will be two years this year, this year October. He will be two years this year October. Yeah. Wow, dog lovers, check out this fine boy right here. Big boy also available for start service at Twin Pillar Kennel. Whoa. Boss, and what about our lovely little friend here too? Uh, this is uh, Twin Pula Israel. Uh, he was born and bred here in the in the kennel from the Twin Pula kennel. He is Twin Pula Israel, the blessing child. Uh, he, he is the son of Hawk. Uh, he is the son of Giovanni Hawk. Yeah, and he he, he won just ended show. He won the best. The best of breed, Bo Mastiff. We also won the best junior in the show. The best junior of dog in the show. Yes. So he, he won the best in breed, Bo Mastiff. The best in junior of the show. Yes. This is the awards that he won. Yes. He, he won the best in junior in the show. Also won the best uh, the best of breed, Bo Mastiff. And also, also won the best of breed in the group, Boom Mastiff. Yeah, he won three trophies. Yeah, he's, he's the son of Hawk. Yeah. Wow, wow, dog lovers, check out Twin Pillar Israel. He loves me already. <laughs> wow, just check him out, just check him out. The son of Hawk, just like his father. Woo, dog lovers, check him out, check him out. Okay, boss, and what about our lovely girl here? Uh, she is called Edith. Edith. Uh, I imported her from Serbia. Yeah, uh, she, she just gave birth to such nice puppies. Uh, that's why you can see that. She, uh, you can even see from the breast that she's, she's breastfeeding. Uh, she's called Edith. She's such a nice dog from uh, Serbia that I imported. She's, very, she's a very caring mother too. She takes care of her puppies very, very, very well. She's such a nice dog with such a nice head. Yeah. Dog lovers, check out Edith right here at Twin Pillar Kennels. Very beautiful female right here. Okay, boss, and what about our lovely friend here, too? Uh, she's uh, Twin Pillar Shivas. Sorry, Twin Pillar Cassandra. Twin Pillar Cassandra. Uh, she's from the same letter from. Uh, she's the same letter as uh, Twin Pillar uh, Shivas. They were, they were little C. That's why we have Shivas, we have Cassandra. Uh, so they are, they, they are, they are, they are, uh, they are from the same letter. Uh, their father is Waki. And their mother was uh, called Rosie. Yeah. So this is Twin Pillar Cassandra. Yeah. And wh what about our lovely friend here too? I love her color. Yeah. She, she, she is called uh, Empire Dos Coco. Uh, we we bought it from uh, a good friend of uh, a good friend of ours called Empa. Yeah, Empa Empa does this. Yeah, yeah. She's called Empa Dogs Coco. Yeah. Wow, dog lovers, check out Empire Dogs Coco right here. Very beautiful female. I love her color. Just check it out. Right here at Twin Pillar Kennel. Wow, boss, I think this must be Razuka Impi. Yes, yes, Razuka Impi. Such a nice dog from South Africa. Yeah, this is actually a South African Buabu. Yes, he's such a nice dog. He has a very good temperament too. Yeah. He's also available for state services. Yes, he's also available for state services. Yeah. Nice, 
Yes, you want dog lovers, check out Razuka Impi, the Boabu, right here at Twin Pillar Canyon. Razuka Impi. So I'm boss man, and what about our lovely friend here too? Uh, she's called Victoria. Uh, Victoria, yeah, she's also a female boa boy. Yeah, she's a nice dog. She has a very good temperament too. Yeah. What do you love about her? Uh, she's very calm, but always on point. When there's a, there's a stranger around, and when there's a stranger around, you see she will be the first dog to start barking. Yeah, she's a very nice girl dog she has a very good temperament and she's always on point when whenever there is a stranger around yeah. okay boss and what about our lovely friend here too i guess this is the last dog we'll be showing right no last but one okay yeah. uh, she's she's called Trimpila luna Trimpila luna uh, uh, she's the daughter of uh, Impi, Razuka Impi, okay. uh, and Victoria. Uh, she's the daughter of uh, Razuka Impi and Victoria. Uh, she's a female, she's a nice dog. She's about uh, eight months old. Yeah, very nice dog too. Such a beautiful dog right here. Yeah, she's called uh, Twimpler Harry. Twimpler, Twimpler Harry. H A W R Y. Twimpler Harry. Yeah. She, she's a female dog too. Yeah. She's the only branded dog we have in Ghana. Yeah. And she's a bull massive too. Yeah. Wow, lovely, lovely, lovely. I love, I love the brand new color. Wow. Come here, come here, Harry. Ooh, beautiful girl right here at twin pillar kennel so dog lovers this is actually the last dog we are showing at twin pillar kennel a kennel filled with bull mastiffs and boa bulls i'm sure you love today's episode on gh dog tv in case you want to link up with twin pillar kennel his contact details are on our screen just pick it up and give him a call and in case you are new on our channel you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content and then you also follow us on all of our social media handles on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok at gh dog blogger my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger catch you another time GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers.